Hello, well in this film I'm going to explain to you the different parts of a cow in terms of leather and it will just help you when you're selecting leather for a project and trying to work out what the difference is between a bend or a back or a shoulder etc. I even have a little cow to help us and I will show you actual bits of leather I'm going to lay out outside and you'll see the different relative sizes. Now this film is sponsored by Sedgwick's Cedric's Leather, Lever, they do some beautiful quality levers. I have used these in some of my films, in fact, and they are kindly sponsoring this film. It's lovely, firm leather. And that is why I'm very happy to be associated with them. And you'll find suppliers to Cedric's. I'll put a few links down below in the comments and you can see all about their lovely leather. So I thought I'd just start by showing you on a sort of cow very broadly the different areas of leather. And so what you've got at the front of the cow here are obviously the shoulders. Now the shoulder section, it forms probably about 25% of the actual hide. And it's generally a bit softer. It's definitely more wrinkly than the rest. Very useful for general leather work. So if you're doing things, you know, like axe covers and bags and things, shoulders actually pretty good. As you come back, you get the butt, which is the whole like two thirds coming back. The fibers in this part of the hide, they're really tightly packed and it makes it the strongest part of the skin. So it's really good for things like belts where you, know, you obviously want things to be strong. And I always use the bridle butts. You can buy them as either a full butt, which is obviously wrapped around both sides of the cow, or you can get the half butts. And the half butts are very nice. They're about 10 square foot normally, something like that. And a lovely, thick, strong, even grain and superb for belts. And that's basically why I use them. And if ever you want to get some nice Sedgwick ones, you will be seriously impressed by the quality of their bridle leather. It is lovely. Obviously underneath, you've got the belly, and that's normally so fairly stretchy by nature. So it's looser fiber. The other sort of area you'll get is called the back, the bridle back. And that scene will be the entire piece that would be extending from the top of the shoulders all the way down and excluding the belly though and the shanks so it's basically it's a shoulder and the butt and you can buy again you can buy a half back and i'll show you in a minute what a half back looks like it's a lovely long straight bit of leather and if you want to do something that needs a good length of leather it's very very useful so very nice indeed. Anyway, I'll take you outside and I'll actually lay out some bits of leather and you can see a bit more what goes on. Hello, well this is a whole cow hide. So it's upholstery leather, but it gives you an idea of the size. And this is actually quite a small one as they go. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna lay other parts of a hide on top. Nice vegetarian leather pieces to show you what it looks like. So there you are, that's a half back. And you can see how massive when it's on a full size cow. As I say, this upholstery one was a small hide. I'll get a half butt next and just like that side. So this is a lovely Sedgwick's half butt here. Obviously, if you had two of them, you'd have a pair, which gives you a bend. This is the back, so it's the half butt with a half shoulder. And it's all lovely Sedgwick's beautiful quality leather. Firm, lovely and glossy, beautiful. That's the shoulders. More wrinkly, just like our own shoulders are. Obviously for belt making, I use the butts, the half butts. And they're lovely, lovely firm leather, beautiful and you know, firm, good structure. Not forgetting to tell you a little bit about this cow. This cow is made out of lead. And many, many years ago, I used to collect lead animals. 
And <laughs> I used to go around what are called jumble sales. It's equivalent today in the States would be, I guess, yard sales. In the UK, we have what are called jumble sales, and you could find these sorts of things. When I got it, it was all chipped, and you couldn't see anything odd about it. But I used to enjoy sometimes painting one or two of them up. And when I did it to this one, I realised it was a map of the world. And when I looked more closely, it actually had Nestle's milk stamped on the side. That may not come up on camera. But, um, let me get that in there. Anyway, it's obviously a promotional item. I contacted Nestle's and I said to them, I've got this cow and, you know, can you tell me anything about it? They couldn't, unfortunately. Um, this was pre-internet. I haven't actually looked of recent. Maybe one could find out more nowadays. Anyway, I've kept it and I like to sort of see it now and again as a little bit of memento of childhood. Anyway, there you are. That's the story behind the cow. Anyway, I hope you found the film helpful and, as I say, sponsored kindly by Sedgwick's and I've popped some links down below. Lovely to work with. I assure you, having a belt of Sedgwick's would also be very nice. <laughs> okay then, thanks for watching. Bye bye.